The angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid. For I know that you are looking for Jesus who has been crucified. He is not here, for he has risen. Just as he said, Come, see the place where he was lying. And everyone say, Amen. Amen. I'm so happy for this moment because I can share about his resurrection. Can you guys see this picture? Wow. In the center, there is cross, and you can see Jesus' body here, huh? Body and somebody is taking care of his body because he died on the cross. And there's some like uh, bees here, and one of his disciples is checking his read whether it's open or not, something like that. Maybe Thomas is there. So we will see the Jesus ministry and his resurrection. So here, you guys remember last week's sermon? Everyone's happy. Oh, Jesus is coming. Yeah, you John something. And everyone is it's like happy. using their leaves and, and, and lay down their clothing. And they are so happy and excited. Excited yeah. for the moment. Wow, Jesus is coming. Come on, come on, Jesus. This is the way. Woohoo. And Jesus is going you, you always to go up. Jerusalem. <laughs> and there are people who are upset with this. <laughs> Pharisees. Pharisees thought about Pharisees. it. Pharisees. 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 Yeah, right? Yeah. So they were. Hmm, Jesus is going this way. He doesn't like Jesus. He doesn't like Jesus. Because he is not real. He just falls. So many people are tempted. So yeah, we are right. And Jesus is wrong. And they are just stay there and looking at Jesus. And people are celebrating, Jesus, welcome to the Jerusalem. And everyone was happy, but they were not happy with it. So even the day before Jesus captured, Jesus and his disciples, the last supper. Yes, the last supper. They had the last supper. 그래서 여기서 빵하고 주스하고 예수님하고 제자들하고 they share bread, wine, and bread means his body, huh? So, and wine was his blood. Oh, how did you guys know that? You read it already. Oh. So, Jesus and his disciple eat together his body and blood. And try to remember, whoa, this is meaning of Jesus' body. And Jesus' intention was not only like that, but he tried to explain maybe Jesus' body is depart. And maybe Jesus' blood is shed, will be shed soon. So if you want to say in Russian we dip like bread and yeah, bread and wine. Juice, juice grape juice. juice. Did you like it? Yeah, that's why. That's why many Christians remember that. And today like other group, main group will do the communion as well. And we will shorten our service time, and we will join. We will join uh, uh, main service together. So, like this, Jesus tried to explain something special and very important thing. But there is one that's real. Yeah, and in among disciples, do you guys know the name of the? Judas. Yeah, that name, Judas. Judas is the one. He was the best Lord. And he was in the, on the mountain to pray. Because he knew that the burden of his passion was the cross. Yes, he was so hard to pray. Where did he go? He was in the Gethsemane. The mountain of Olives. Gethsemane. They, he prayed, Lord, God, this is too heavy. Oh, when I think about cross, that's the symbol of curse. 
Oh, I want to save my people, but oh, it's very hard. But Lord, not by my will, but your will be done through my life. He prayed and he cried. <gasps> He cried all the way. Yeah. Worked so hard and prayed so hard. And angel came up and strengthened him to pray more heartily. Because right before the Passion of Cross. So he needed to get strength from Father God. So he prayed. Mm -hmm. and, and sweat a lot. Sweat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After that, who is this guy? Jesus. Yeah. Let's do one, two, three. Yeah. That was too sharp. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. His name is Judah. Judah was there with Roman soldiers, and he pointed. Oh, he is Jesus, and he. Him. That was the symbol that Jesus is that person. So, that guy is Jesus. And a Roman soldier tried to capture Jesus. Him! Let's go! Not like that, Jesus. Softly and gently, once again. Ready to go? Capture him! Not like that! So, Jesus was ca captured. Like this. Oh. Is he sin sinner? No. Is he sinner? No. Did he commit a lot of sins? No. He is innocent, isn't it? Yeah, but he is holy. And he is son of God. And he is pure. But he captured like sinner. Look at that. Oh, how sad you are. Because of our sin. He tried to go to the cross and try to carry the cross. That's why he was just silent and wait for the moment. 사람들이 예수님한테 십자가에 못 박으세요! 라고 소리지를 시작했어요. So people are crying and, and cry out and cry out and Pharisees, Pharisees, cry out and criticize Jesus. Hey, that guy, he's Jesus. He is false, not a good man. We need to kill him, persecute him. And crucify him. And people are crying out, Yes, 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 yes. Everyone, did you guys remember they welcomed Jesus with joy and happiness? Oh, welcome Jesus. You are good. You are awesome. And after just within one week, their heart was hardened and they changed their mind. Hmm, maybe our religious leaders are right. They're right. Yeah, maybe. He's not a good guy. Crucify him. Crucify him. And people are starting to say, crucify him, crucify him, crucify him. Where? Crucify him! <laughs> <laughs> like crazy. So, Pilate, bunch of Pilate, listen from the people of Israel. And, oh, maybe that's the better way to sub to uh, control his people and I will follow just what they want so even though Jesus was holy and pure but he is in the death field. in he was captured and he needed to be crucified by Roman soldiers everyone was sad even Jesus disciples couldn't speak up because they are afraid of and they had a lot of fear because people doesn't like Jesus at that moment. So Jesus carried the cross. It's heavy cross. Even he, he got tortured and he was fit in and his cross is like lifted up. And he didn't have enough energy to carry the cross. <sighs> oh, oh. Where's the cross <sighs> from Friday? Our cross from Friday is another version for thinking about like this individual. <sighs> Carry the cross. His body is very heavy. Oh, look at that. There is the mountain. I should go up to the mountain. Oh, this is so heavy. Elijah, could you help me? 
Oh, thank you. Let's, let's carry it together. Oh, oh, oh. Can you sit can down? Yeah, we can yeah, sit down. So he carried the cross. And finally, he hung up on the cross. And he, look at people, because there are a lot of people there, and crowd are looking at Jesus. Jesus is dying. Roman soldier nailed it. Here and there, and in the bottom part, and even used using their spares to what do we hit? Stab. Stab. Here. Stab. Stab. Ah! He's dead. He was there, looking at people, and he he, he is saying like, Lord, oh forgive them, and they don't know what they're doing. Oh, 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 oh. forgive them, and he remembered the people, and he carried us all the sins that we had. So, oh, 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 that's your will be done, Lord. And he cried and prayed for the people who will believe in him. And then, and he died. And at, right after that, earthquake. Ah, what's going on? What's going on? And, Crowd that covered the skies and getting dark. Oh, star! And the one soldier from Roman soldier said, Whoa, he is weird, son of God. Weird, weird, weird. And, and they feel like, Whoa, he is son of God. Right? 그래서 사람들이 예수님이 돌아가시고 나서 예수님이 진짜인 줄 알았어요. So one, God, one person whose name is Joseph asked, oh, I will take his body and I made my tomb, but I will change my tomb into Jesus' tomb. So maybe here in, in this tomb, I will open it for Jesus. So Jesus' body will be there for, yeah, for him. So Jesus' body was there. So, but Friday night, he died, right? Jesus died on the floor. Saturday and Sunday in the morning, two girls from the Bible. Mary, Mary. Said, oh, how did you know Elijah? Good, Mary, Mary. Mary and Mary Magdalene. Oh, it could be like Magdalene and Mary came. Okay. And look and check for the two. Maybe oh, maybe the body. We need to take care of this dead body. And they are checking the tomb. But look at that! Whoa, tomb is open. Oh, somebody did something, right? Maybe we need to check inside. Let's go and check inside. And Mary Magdalene and Mary, check inside. And they found, oh, oh, where is Jesus? Where is Jesus? Jesus is not here. Oh my gosh. The only thing I had is Jesus clothing. Oh, where is Jesus? 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 And they went back to the disciple. Hey guys, this guy's not dead. We, we found that empty tomb. Who's there? And this said, oh, really? Didn't you see Jesus' body? No, it was empty tomb. Maybe somebody still Jesus' body. At that moment, Jesus was there. Peace with you. And disciples got surprised. <gasps> Didn't you guys remember that? I will live again. I will be out of the death because he is son of God and has power 
to defeat the power of death. Can I get amen? amen. Can I get amen? amen? So Jesus, remember. And disciples, remember as well. The promise that Jesus made. So whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. So for the Christian, if you believe Jesus personally, if you believe Jesus as your Savior and Lord, you will not perish but have eternal life. Eternal life. So if we die today, then that death is not just like eternal end, but it's new beginning. And we will go into heaven like we will, we will be resurrected like Jesus did. And we will have deep eternal fellowship with Jesus. Can I have Amen. 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 Today is happy day. That's why we wear beautiful clothing. That's why we wear like a new health style. And we are so happy. Happy Easter because we have joy that from Jesus' resurrection. We are happy not because of chocolate. We are happy not because of toys or like spring break. But we are so happy because Jesus is resurrected from dead. Can I get an amen? amen? Amen. So we will say Happy Easter. One, two, three. Happy Easter. So thinking about Jesus got resurrected and thinking about Jesus died for you, 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 you. And if you believe in Jesus, he will forgive you and forgive your sin and you will become the children of God that's why this is good news and we want to live for this amen next page we will be together ready set three he is alive that sentence is very important he is alive one two three he is alive. Uh, more, 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 more. Kuge, like loudly. He is alive. Who want to do it? Kuge, with loud voice. Yes, I did. He is alive. Oh, I like it. Who want to do it? I'll do it. Yeah, Rina. Ah, can I hear you? And we will cry out and we will. Felix, you want to do it? Ready, set, go. Oh, we will do it all together so that we will be brave to. Declare, he is alive. One, two, three. He is alive. Amen. That's beautiful. Oh, this is an empty. Do you guys know what a treasure hunt is? A treasure hunt is when you have a clue that leads to another clue that leads to another clue that leads to another clue that eventually leads to a treasure. And that treasure could be anything. I'm trying to find my first clue. I was just told it was around the mailbox. Oh! I found it! Do you guys want to do a treasure hunt with me? So what? First, turn your Bibles to the book of Matthew, chapter 28, and get ready to discover a story about a very special Sunday where the disciples of Jesus found a treasure, unlike anything they expected. I'm Joel, this Explore the Bible on Location, and a friend made a treasure hunt for me here at church. I really hope the treasure's pizza, because pizza's the best. And I really want to run to the next clue, but I'm not gonna run, because we're at church. So I'm gonna walk, and I'm gonna walk purposefully. Here's the first clue. First clue says, surely you know my name is not Herman. Go to the place that's closest to the sermon. Well, I know that we hear sermons here in the church sanctuary, but what does it mean to be closest to the sermon? Usually the sermon is preached from up there on the stage, so to be closest, you know what? I think the clue is under one of the front pews. Clue. This is so fun. It says, 
When you eat here, you must do so with a grateful attitude. Go to the place where we make the tasty food. Where do we make tasty food here at church? Oh, the kitchen. Let's go to the kitchen. Tasty food. Where do we keep tasty food? Maybe in the refrigerator? Okay, what is this? Oh, I found it. Next clue says, these kind of people like to sit in people's laps. They need lots of diaper changes and lots of restful naps. What kind of person needs a lot of diaper changes? A baby. Let's go to the baby's room. Come on, Clue. Come on, Clue. I got it. It's the next clue. These clues are hard. I hope we're getting closer to the treasure. It says, you get to play here when it's a nice day. I am a ground upon which happy children play. What does that mean? I'm a ground upon which happy children play. Ground, play, playground. Playground. We're going to the playground. Oh, oh there it is. Ah, it's under the slide. Robert is a master at creating these treasure hunt clues. It says this, you must arrive to church at 10 a.m. on the dot, or you'll have a long walk to church from the one leftover spot. One leftover spot, you gotta walk, like a parking spot. A parking spot, the next clue's in the parking lot, yes! But there's like 1,100 parking spots in our parking lot. This is gonna take forever to find the next clue. You know what, let's get back to our Bible story while I look. Jesus' disciples believed he was the Messiah, the son of the living God, and the promised king to rule over Israel and the world forever. So you can imagine how confused and sad they were when Jesus told them he would suffer and die on the cross. But he also told them he would be raised up. This would be unlike anything they had ever experienced before. On Friday, Jesus suffered and died on the cross and was laid in a tomb. And then on Sunday, some of his followers went to the tomb and found something that surprised them. <gasps> found it! Okay, here's what it says. If you're in this room, all drinks must have lids. Go to the room where we do Explore the Bible Kids. I know. The kids ministry rooms. Come on. Behind a candy counter, you will find tasty treats. Behind this place, you will find tasty beets. Ugh. Beets like vegetables? Okay, I'm not in agreement that beets are tasty. Plus, we don't have any beets here at the church. Wait a second. A beat can also be a groove you make with drums, like I think the treasure is behind the drum set. I found it. <laughs> I found it. You want me? You want me to open it and see what's inside? Okay, here we go. It's empty. Oh, wait a second. There's a envelope taped to the bottom of it. Who knows what that is? The box is empty, you guys. What kind of treasure is found inside something that is empty? The Sunday after Jesus died on the cross, some of his followers went to the tomb to properly make his body ready for burial. When they arrived, they discovered something incredible. The tomb is empty. Jesus is alive. Afterward, hundreds of people saw the resurrected Jesus. He had paid for their sin, 
for my sin, for your sin. And the empty tomb was evidence that Jesus had conquered sin and death once and for all. This is the very best news and the very best treasure of all. I don't think he never did. That's a trip. Whoa. You guys, it's, it's two tickets for Robert and me to go see our favorite band live in concert tonight. This is awesome. At first I thought, I thought, what kind of treasure comes in an empty box? But then I realized that the treasure is an invitation to do something awesome with a really good friend. That's kind of like our Bible story today. The tomb is empty. Jesus rose from the dead as scripture promised. He is alive. And now he's inviting us to repent of our sins and trust in him as Savior and Lord so that we can have a forever relationship with him. That's what we discover when we dig into the book of Matthew, and that's what we're celebrating today. I'm Joel. This Explore the Bible on location, and I got to celebrate with a drum groove. I'm going to my you guys. God wants to forgive you and your sins. That's why he died on the cross. And personally, if you believe in him, if you receive him as your Savior and Lord, Jesus will be with you. And Jesus will forgive your sins. And Jesus will guide you, protect you, and even God will provide very good things. Because he is good Good God. So, I personally invite all of you to close your eyes and cut, repent your sins to the Lord. Thinking about your sins, sometimes you didn't listen to your parents, sometimes you fought with your friends, but yeah, God still is inviting you, those who are not in Friday night. Yeah. Jesus is inviting you in this Easter season. Do you want to receive Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord? Then repeat after me. Dear Lord, Dear Lord thank, you so much thank you so much for forgiving our sins. I repent my sins. Cover us with your blood. Cover us with your blood. Uh, forgive our sins. Forgive our sins. We want to become your church. And we want to live with you. We want to live with you. We open our heart and invite you as our savior. 
Live with me. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. If you really follow the prayer with your heart, and Jesus is with you, and God will be with you, and you will inherit the eternal life, and you will you are be, you became the children of God. And God will be with you, and God will protect you, and God will lead you. Let's, let's close our worship with the Lord's Prayer. Mm. Ready, set, go. My Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we have announcements. So after we take a photo here, uh, I will, as you know, need to go down and join the main service together. So there is purpose of main service because this is very important moment that Easter Sunday. So then we will worship God together with our parents. And then there will be the two important sessions. First one is baptism. Do you guys know what baptism means? You? I put you on the water and need to come out, right? That means somebody need to die with Christ and live again. So we have that baptism ceremony and second ceremony is baby dedication. So Jaira. So Jaira will be dedicated. So for the parents will say, oh yeah, even though baby is my baby, our baby, but we believe in God. So we acknowledge our weakness, but yeah, God needs to take care of this baby. We dedicate this baby to the Lord. So we will have that kind of ceremony as well. After that, we will go out and have a lot of games. So we have three games today, but it's not only for the kids, but we, like our church members, will play all together. But there even is the adults? even other. If, three grand prize. Yeah, there are three grand prizes. Wait, what are they? I really hope you guys receive all the grand prizes. Okay? Three. What are you doing that thing? Only three, but there are candy and chocolate too. And for the kids, I will prepare the special things for the kids. Okay? Okay, time's up. We will go down. Yeah, so Easter Road, there, there is Easter Road. So let's quietly, silently go down and join main service. Okay. <laughs>